Hey guys, welcome back. It's been a little while, but we're back with another review. But this time, it's not from Mattel. This one is from a cool um, Instagram that I found called Marco Mix, and he makes his own dinosaurs. Um, he is all fully painted, and these are the um, line called Rubbersaurus. This is series number six. And I happened to see these that I wanted, uh, Microceratuses, because, you know, Mattel doesn't really have any. Uh, they have that one, but we'll, we'll review it with this one. Um, and I found it on IG, and he had it on sale for on uh, Etsy that day, but it sold out. He only makes a certain amount. So I got lucky. I emailed him and, you know, let him know, hey, hey, I'm really looking forward to these. And he had an extra set, so I bought it. He makes these, hand make these, and all the way from England. So pretty dope. So this is the box it came in as the... Uh, the three that you're gonna get in the box and we'll actually open it and look at it and check this out all right so opening it up pretty cool oh it comes with a collector's card along with his ig handle which is marco mix come with sticker and a rubbersaurus sticker this this is his brand of things that he makes but look at this how cute, right? And scan the code for more information. But yeah, he's pretty cool. He responded pretty quickly. Um, so he hand make all these. And then he 3D print this second part that is actually pretty dope. Um, looks just like the one in the movie. Uh, Dominion. It is the cage that they were in. So it's pretty cool. So he actually printed this cage for me because he only had the extra dinosaurs. So I waited a few extra days, but look how cool it is. I love that these are all painted already because I'm not the greatest at painting. So it's pretty cool to support another collector and seeing all their work. This is actually pretty cool, pretty heavy. Rubber stores, he has his own little brand. And the main event, these three little guys. Oh, they can't even pack in like this. Look, and they're all three actually painted different colors. So that's pretty cool. Let's take a look at these guys. One at a time. Wow, so it's uh, made of rubber, so it's kind of like Kenner-ish. It's pretty cool, as you can see how tiny they are. Um, but I love that they're painted. I don't have to paint them. <laughs> um, so this first one, I would say, is purple and blue. I have some pretty cool stripes on it. And he actually, if you follow him on um, YouTube, I believe is Marco Mix also. He actually shows you how he painted these one by one. Pretty nice. They're so tiny. But they're pretty in scale with the human figures, I believe. We will get to that. And the second one. Oh, actually, look. You guys, it's actually, that's pretty cool. It has different poses. Let me see. It has different poses. They're not the same pose. So that's pretty cool. Very nice attention to detail. So this one's red with some stripes that you can see really tiny. But I like the blue tip. The little feet is painted. Really, really nice. But the, yeah, these are really cool. They're um, very nice and soft rubbery. You know, it's crazy that Mattel really hasn't gone back and released their version or even put it in the minis line. Wow, I really like this one compared to the first one we got. really enjoy the purple and the blue, though. It's nice. As you can see, this one has stripes on the back with dots. While the second one have nice red back with stripes instead. Really enjoy that. I like the different variety that we're getting. And this last one, ooh, very nice. Almost rainforesty looking. This one's a lot of green and blue.
pretty cool a third pose so it like i said it comes in a little cage you can put them all in back in the cage when you're displaying them i probably keep them in the cage but um it looks like the one in the market and the dominion movie pretty nice um i paid around 50 bucks american for it which i feel like is really nice actually again i like enjoy um i enjoy supporting collectors you know and they're making you know these things take time and lots of time to design and everything and i love that again it's painted and it's painted nicely pretty nice so let's see compare it with the one from mattel this was the one we got. Um, this came out when Fallen Kingdom came out. Um, it actually was in the... Right before Toys R Us folded. Um, this was in their exclusive line with the Destruction Saurus. And this came with the Raptor. And I believe also came with the Pteranodon. Um, never came out in the US. Although small batches was found in Ross. But never went to Toys R Us. And the only way you can find these guys was... I believe back in um, Canada. Canada Toys R Us had these for a while. Um, but yeah, as you can see how much bigger this one is. Compared to the one we got. Which I believe the one we got are actually nicely in scale. With our human figures that we got. Pretty cool. These look more like the ones from... Um, the Jurassic World website versus this one's very muscular. The one Mattel made, very muscular. And as we can see, even with some toy monster guys from the eggs, you can kind of have a scale on how big these guys are. Tiny, right? Yeah. So he actually doesn't currently have these on uh, for sale right now. He might make more. But he, um, there was copies too. I missed out on the copy set. The copies look real awesome too. And we can compare it with a human figure that we got. You can see how little these guys are. So yeah, so we don't really have any from um, Mattel. And even with Mattel, I think they're going to end up upsizing them even maybe in a little two pack but these fall under the the line of kind of too little to be like a solo animal that they can put like in a attack pack kind of thing so this compared to the copies we got in the legacy collection as you can see just how little and detailed these are and just just to see how detailed this the these guys are, like compared to copies, that's so just no paint. But look at these guys. This is like literally hand painted. Alrighty, so I can't wait to see what else he has in store to you know sell some more um, to us collectors. But this is his code again, just to. Yeah, there you go. So click on that and sc even sc uh, screenshot it so you can follow him on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. Um, he Yeah, he, he responds pretty quick and he makes some really awesome dinosaurs. I know he has a Ceratosaur coming up. So, yeah. Give him a follow. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time.